This is the first confirmed death we've heard of at this Amazon Fulfillment Center here in Tracy. Now, the company told us the last day this person came to work was almost a month ago, and at the time, they say he wasn't showing any symptoms. Just kind of shocking. It really, you know, brings it home. We spoke with a packer at this facility who has worked here for about two and a half years now. My stomach is in knots, like all day, every day, but you gotta go to work. <laughs> I, I don't want to lose my job. She didn't want to go on camera over fear of losing her job, but she did say this news was enough to call out for the day. I didn't feel comfortable in the morning hearing that we had that person pass away. You know, I didn't go to work. A spokesperson for Amazon told us, we are saddened by the loss of an associate at our site in Tracy. His family and loved ones are in our thoughts. They added that as a company, they've made more than 150 process updates to keep workers safe. On top of social distancing and providing masks and gloves, they're also doing daily temperature checks, cleaning common touch points more often, and staggered start and break times. Them doing our temperatures. Like, it makes me feel better. I, I know that every day I don't have the fever. For me, honestly, I don't feel like these people contracted it at our business. But for the worker we spoke with, her biggest concern is bringing the virus back home to her family. Well, I mean, I have kids. I have a mother. You just get scared that you're going to bring something back to them. According to workers we spoke with, the company has told them that if any employee feels uncomfortable or nervous about going to work during this time, they are allowing people to take unpaid time off with no penalties.